Okay everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a media server with your Raspberry Pi. So first thing you need is a Raspberry Pi. They go for around $35. This one goes for $38. Then the next thing you will need is a micro SD card. Anything by SanDisk is really good. 8 gigabytes is perfect uh, for this project. So the next thing you will need is a um, SD card reader. This one is really good. It's got over 6,000 reviews. Uh, this one will work perfectly. And uh, so now that you have all this, um, you will need um, to download uh, the software. So we'll go to Libre Elect. I'll put this link down in the description below. Go to the downloads, and then we will scroll down until we see the download uh, file. Just go ahead and click on that, and you'll be getting downloading. Then you probably will need uh, WinRAR to extract this, um, or any unzipping tool. Um, but since I already have it, I'm not going to re-download it. So I'll just go to the my file manager, to my downloads, and then we'll just drag this to our desktop. Now we'll unzip it. Just extract it here. Get that out of the way. All right. This won't take but a few seconds. Now, once that's extracted, you will need a program called SD Formatter. Uh, this is just to make sure your chip is just completely 100% formatted. Uh, the Windows um, format uh, tool will work just fine, but um, I just use this because I've, you know, I've sometimes had problems with it. So uh, we're just going to use this program. I'll link these programs in the description below. Just make sure it's the right one, then we'll go ahead and format it. I'm using a four gigabyte, um, just so this project does not need anything huge. And then we're gonna use um, Win32 Disk Imager to write the disk. I already have it opened. And then we'll simply just find our file. There it is. And then make sure we're connected to the, to the right drive and make sure is the right one and then we'll just begin installing it. Now this is a much uh, simpler way to do this uh, project. Uh, there's a lot of uh, ways out there uh, to make this but it requires a lot of coding and I just really didn't see any reason to do a lot of coding when there was really no need for it because uh, you're getting the same outcome either way um, and I just wanted a super easy build that anybody could do you know you can use this for you know going on vacation long car rides um, and what's nice is you could connect this up to probably at least five tablets and like say if you rip your movies you could rip them to your uh, flash drive and then when you plug it into your Raspberry Pi then you know everybody like in the car could like you know watch the exact same movie at the same time uh, so this is actually very useful I use this quite a bit um, I even uh, plug my GoPro chips up to it just to um, watch my GoPro video uh, so I don't have to plug up to a computer or anything to watch it so I can just stream it so it streams really fast uh, and it'll actually have a 4K video uh, on a flash drive so you can see the that it uh, works really, really well with uh, high quality video. It's almost done. All right, now that uh, now that that's done, now we can uh, 
plug it into our Raspberry Pi, but first we're going to make sure we safely eject this. And then we'll go on over to the Raspberry Pi. Alright, so this is the boot up of the Raspberry Pi. First it'll um it'll go through a little like installation thing right off the bat and then it'll take you right into it. I know a lot of people probably will say like, well, I didn't know Cody could do this, but it's technically not Cody, it's well I mean it is, but um it's Libera Libera Elect, however you pronounce this. Um, and it's actually its program inside of this that um, actually helps with this. So now we can go through these settings here. All right, we'll just turn SSH on. Next, you can kind of skip all this if you want to. It's not really a need. All right, so we'll go over to settings, and then we need to go down here to uh, the Liber Elect, and then we're gonna go to probably network, and then we do want to enable tethered wireless access point because we need the access point. That's what we'll be connecting like our tablets or phones or whatever to. And then down here, I don't know why it shows two SSIDs and two passwords. Hmm. Wait, it's reloading. All right, okay, it fixed itself. All right, so uh, this is just what it'll be called. I'm just gonna change the password just so, you know, nobody can connect to it, just change it to Raspberry. Just do that and then that's really all we need to do there. Just make sure. Yeah, okay. Nothing else we need to do. And then we can go over here to services. And then password, password authentication. We'll, we will turn that on just so not anybody can connect to this. And then it'll give us our username and password. Both are just liberal elect, so just remember that for later. And then after this, we're pretty well done. So I'll hook up a, my flash drive right quick and show you a, a cool little trick. So just click movies, you can click movies or TV shows and then that's my drive and then this is the 4K video. So now you're seeing the 4K video, it's full quality, loads perfectly fine. I'll just kind of give me a little show of what that looks like. So you will actually be able to if you want, if you have like an external mouse or whatever, or a keypad mouse, you can use this um, on your TV and stream it to a tablet or multiple tablets at the exact same time, which I thought was really nice. Uh, Alright, so now we'll go over to the phone and I'll show you how to set that up. All right, so the app I'm using is called InPlayer. Uh, it's one of the best apps I've found. So when you're in InPlayer, what you wanna do is um, click this little plus button on the top and then click Scan Networks. And then Libera Elect will pop up like that as an SMB server. You click on it, and then under Username, you will put in Libera Elect like we've uh, seen it on Kodi. And then for the password, the exact same thing. And then we'll just save that. And then once we get into it, then you'll see our flash drive right there, the ESD USB. And then there's our video. Now we can click on it.
and there we go now we're streaming it live and what i like about this app is on the right left hand side you can move your finger up and down to control either volume or brightness or side to side to skip through the um, video which makes it really nice so you're not having to like pause and play the video but yeah okay that's how uh this uh, build is done Alright guys, this is the end of my video. I just want to say thank you for watching my video. Please leave a like and subscribe. I will be making more videos uh, coming soon. More Raspberry Pi videos. Um, uh, my next one's going to be an even better media server than this one. So yeah, just keep in tune with my videos. Make sure to leave a comment, like, subscribe, leave a comment if you have any ideas for me to do, and I'll give them a look and see if I can do them for you guys. Thank you for watching.